Well, what about civil rights? Are there civil rights that women do not enjoy? I mean... Well, I think that there certainly are. I, I think that maybe I should, should turn it back to Martha Griffiths, but I, I would like to add one footnote to, to what she said about the 1964 Civil Rights Act, because the or sex provision was added really as a joke it was put in by a Southern oh, Congressman. Please don't say that. To keep it, to keep it from being passed. Please don't say that. It was not added as a joke. The man who originally offered it uh, thought that he was really going to hurt the uh, bill. But I made the argument, and I wasn't joking. I understood exactly what it would do. It was accepted not as a joke, but because the people who sat there agreed with my argument that you would have given black women rights that white women never had had. Now, I didn't make the further statement, which I think was quite true, that no one who brought that bill to the floor had ever considered giving any one woman any rights. And the truth is that black and, women, uh, and white women got those rights together. But no one who voted that day voted as a joke. I'm, I'm sure that they didn't vote as a joke, but there was a great deal of levity in the debate that went uh, on, the levity and a great stopped. deal of guffawing. The levity stopped when I started speaking. Well, I'm pleased to hear uh, that. I think so I read the Senate they, debate. It really didn't work out that way at all. But this has been one of the things that had... It's a myth that has been uh, put out through this whole country, that it was a joke. And every woman who says it again and again really aids the Supreme Court in making a very erroneous just, decision. Could you just document a little bit just what um, the civil rights status of women was before and after? Um, well, of course, women don't really have any rights. The 14th Amendment has never been applied to give women equal rights, equal protection under the law. Uh, she doesn't have any rights. The only the right to vote and the right to hold public office. Those are the only two rights that the Constitution of the United States guarantees her. On everything else, she is protected by the law of the Middle Ages, the common law of England. She had no rights. And this is the first right. Now, with one case has gotten to the Supreme Court uh, under Title VII. And on that case, uh, the Supreme Court uh, made a very poor decision. Could you elaborate about the case? Well, the bit? case uh, was a woman who applied to Martin Marietta. Uh, in, I believe she was in Florida. She had five children. Uh, they told her that they would not uh, take a woman who had uh, children under the age of six. It was a three dollar an hour job. But they admitted in court that why they, of course, they wouldn't think of asking a man that question, that the man that he hired did have children under six. Now this was a clear case of discrimination. And the Supreme Court in its decision sent uh, the decision back to the lower court for further information as to whether or not women with children under six were good employees. What kind of nonsense is that? 